Hi everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. So we are doing a top 10 decks for your summertime. So summer has been underway for a month now and I am just getting really inspired by the decks that I'm going to share with you. We've got 10 decks that I'm going to be sharing. And I do have a 2022 edition of my summertime deck recommendations. I did a video for Tarot and Oracle. I will put those in the, uh, the links, I should say, in the description box down below so you can check them out. Those deck recommendations still stand. However, my collection has grown since then or evolved. I mean, um, some decks, very few have left, but there were some that came into my collection that are very summery to me, very summer inspired artwork or color palettes or energies. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And I'm super excited because I've been wanting to do this video for a little while now but time has just escaped me as time does right all right friends let's get into this video number 10 is the this might hurt to road deck by isabella rotman this is the first edition and I have a little guidebook. I don't, the deck actually is on my reading table because one of my dear subscribers um, had mentioned that they just got the mass market edition. I said, you know what? I really loved my readings that I got when I first um, was acquainted with the This Might Hurt Tarot. And so I start using it a lot in client readings, readings for myself, but mainly client readings. And then, like with anything, the deck just got put on the shelf and I hadn't really used it in a while. So I've been putting it on my reading table to start shuffling with it, to get reacquainted with it again. Um, the gilding has worn because I did use it quite a bit, but, I, you know, what are you going to do? So I'm going to show you why I think this deck is giving summertime vibes. I'm going to show you. Um, the coloring that you see here is just really warm. And um, sure, you could use this deck throughout the year. Any of these decks you could, by the way. But I really enjoy using them this deck in the summer because of the color even for like the swords here's the king of swords that's such a gorgeous color cool color very cool but still giving summer vibes here's queen of cups queen of pentacles mm. Two of Swords. And I'm using this deck now. So I'm using this deck. And it's summertime that I'm using it. So I would say for me, it's one of my decks I've been digging in the summertime. Here's King of Cups. I'll show you a few more cards. I will link in the description box if I have a video. I will link it in the description box for a full flip through. I know I have a full flip through of this deck. Page of Cups. I'm in love with the Six of Wands. She's on a bicycle. Here's the Knight of Cups. And here's the Sun. Okay, so that is This My Hurt. And like I mentioned earlier, this deck is, has an indie version, I'm sure multiple editions out there, and a mass market version. So since I've been working with my indie version, I don't feel the need to get 
a mass market, but I do know some folks who have done comparison videos between the indie and the mass market editions. And there are some additions to the mass market that you would that you don't get in the indie versions. So you're not losing, from what I can tell, with the mass market edition. All right, so let's move on to number nine. Number nine. So that would be the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcana's first edition. This is the first edition. I do. I know that there is an indie version, or indie, not indie. There's a, another version that I did really want to get. I can't think of the name of it, but it's same cards but smaller um, size, Tr traditional tarot size, and it had beautiful gilding and beautiful backings. I can't think of the edition. It's like a special edition deck for this one. Um, but there is a mass market edition. So we have the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcana's guidebook. Even the coloring is giving summer vibes on this guidebook. There's the box. I did not get the mass market. Again, it's just one of those things that I already have in my collection, one of the versions. And I have the independent version. So I'm just going to enjoy and love on that. So here is the backs. Full flip through will be in the uh, description box. There's the gilding. So if you want to see the, all of the cards, you can check out my full flip through. Here's the moon. Let's see. I'm going to show you some of my favorites. Here is Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Got a little crease on there. So got this, matte, this gorgeous matte on the front and then glossy on the back. Yeah. This is Justice. Here's two of wands. The hermit. Here is ace of wands. I love the high priestess. Ace of cups. I have all the aces nearby. Ace of Swords, Lovers, Strength. I don't know, I haven't watched any flip throughs of like the mass market edition of this deck, so I don't know if there's any major differences or additional cards. I'm not sure. So check them out. Check out like the mass market edition if that works more for your usage of the deck and the price point or seek out the indie version if you're more called for the luxe details the gilding the you know rose petal finish fronts the glossy backs with etched with the continent of africa so gorgeous um you know it just depends on what your what type of collector you are or a reader I am curious to know I I'm gonna be busy this week so I won't have really a good chance to check is there are major differences in the mass market versus the indie of this deck let me know in the comment section down below like I would love if it was a smaller size for more Hanley and I would keep this as a collector's deck you know that would be my preference Let's see. Let me find some more. There's the devil. God of Cups. Judgment. Okay, so that is the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcana's first edition. A Melanated Tarot Divination Guidebook by Andrea Fertig. There you go. Oh, before I move on, it comes in this bag. This, or it, the, I got the bag, 
this great box. Um, it was signed. You can see I have a signed copy. And so I just keep it in this bag and then keep the box separate so I don't put a lot of wear on the box. But yeah, that's my number nine. Next one I want to talk about is Tarot of Mystical Moments by Katrine Wiltstein. U.S. Game Systems, Mass Market. This is the um, one of the mass market tarot decks that I'll be sharing with you all today. And this deck to me feels, feels very much summery. And some people are like, well, why does it matter what season? Um, some people, when they're doing their tarot readings or their tarot rituals, they are very much attached to seasonal type of decks to help inspire them in the work that they're doing, the spiritual work that they're doing. So um, that would be one of the one of the many reasons. I just love to assign decks by season. It's just something I love to do because it's like it gets me in to appreciating the essence of what that season has to offer and why I love that particular season so much. And with this one, when I think of summertime decks, this gives me early to midsummer vibes. Here's the guidebook. Here is the deck. It's US Games. It's gilded. I really love this. It's so dreamy. Card bags. So dreamy. And here's the magician. Let's go through them. I'm pretty sure I did a flip through video for this deck. So I'll link it if I did. And if I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been giving myself some grace about not feeling the need to record all my deck, like videos for all of my decks, even though the urge sometimes comes where I'm like, I need to record a video for this deck when I get it. But Sometimes I'm just not feeling it. Here's four of cups. Love four of cups. Love that. I'm just not feeling like recording a video for an unboxing. I just want to get into the unboxing and have my own personal reactions and and yeah, so <laughs> temperance. So pretty. Oh my goodness. So early summer vibes for me. Here's page of cups. Um, one of the oracle decks that I have that pairs nicely with it, of course, is by the same creator, the Oracle of Mystical Moments. So I have that one that pairs beautifully with this deck. It's a great standalone tarot deck. Truly, you could use any oracle deck to pair with it if you wanted to, right? Um, but it, for me, works quite well with the Oracle of Mystical Moments. Queen of Swords. It is glossy. It is slightly bigger than your standard tarot size cards, but you know, it reads well. And I am here sometimes just for the whimsy of it all. It's like this dream state that I feel like I am in with this deck. Right. Oh, look at this. Look at the Five of Wands. She's playing chess, not checkers. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Ah, oh, super summertime vibes for me. So, oh, and look at the lovers. I'm going to show you a couple more and then we'll stop. Let me see the full flip throughs if you'd like. That is Nine of Wands, and here is the High Priestess. Okay, one more that represents summertime. Oh my God, because every time I, I get another card, I'm like, the one behind it is even more like something I need to show you. Okay, the <laughs> star. And 10 of wands. Even the Five of Swords is just glorious. So if I take this, I'm going to just shuffle. I'm going to shuffle with this. 
let me see what cards you have. We got the lovers. And then I'm gonna shuffle the Oracle of Mystical Moments, which also has a deck flip through. You can search my channel for that one. I'm only gonna link in um, Tarot Decks because this is a top 10 2024 edition of Summer Deck Recommendations for Tarot. So let's just see how it pairs with. So we have here the lovers and then my home is my castle. Similar card back, similar, not quite the same coloring. And this is a different um, texture for the card. So just showing you that combo. So there you go. I am going to move on to the next deck. Okay, so number seven. This is the Victorian Romantic Tarot, third edition by Alex Yukolov and Karen Mahoney. This is a Baba Studios Tarot deck, and it's a treasured deck in my collection. And every time, like late spring, summer time comes, I am just loving working with this deck. Okay, this was gifted to me and it's one of those gifts that just sticks with me because I will always talk about the time when it came into my collection in 2020 and the headspace and heart space that I was in. I was struggling and a dear subscriber uh, sent, this, sent this as a, a gift, this and the Dust to Onyx deck and it just like it just symbolizes a time where someone extended such a beautiful piece of humanity to me and I was able to receive it and, and be like, oh, it'll be, it'll be good. If you hear music in the background, I don't know if you can, if the mic will pick up on it, but my daughter's practicing a song she's composing on her piano. Here are the car backs. Kind of curved from use but this is just so beautiful every time every time I use it and the same could be said for the Bohemian Gothic Tarot I the readings are spot-on the messages are clear but because it's such a treasure deck I tend to baby them um, so there's that but this deck for me works well in love like relationship readings like relationship situational readings or problematic issues in love relationships or you know just relationships as well as career readings look at nine of swords look at that Brilliant. Brilliant. Let's look at the Six of Cups. It's just so glorious of a deck. So I only have two Baba Studio decks so far, and I'm fine with that. I mean, sometimes I'm like, do I want the Alice? I don't know. I haven't decided. So far, I'm good with the collection I have. One more I'm going to show you. Seven of Wands. Okay. For real, one more. <laughs> the Moon. <laughs> I can't show you the Moon and not the Star. <laughs> there is a full flip through on my channel. I'll be sure to link it in the description box down below. Even the Three of Swords has a late summer feel to it. Okay, I'll stop there because you can always check out the full flip through. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we have up next the Marseille Prende V by Auntie K's Tarot. I'm so excited to share this one. Check out the flip through I have of this deck, but also I will be linking um, a live stream that I had 
just recently, very recently, this past Sunday even, with Auntie K. She has a channel here on YouTube, and we were talking about being a professional reader um, and, and where we do that most at. And for her, it is the hotlines. I also do readings on the hotlines as well. But she is a deck creator. And I was so excited to get this one. This is really officially my true first Marseille, Tarot de Marseille deck. So um, it felt to me very summery. Here's the card backs. Okay, I'll show you why. Here's the star. Let's see, the sun. It's giving very summery vibes. Page of Swords. This deck is so cool. So if you've been wanting to work with Marseille type decks, this is a great one to get into because it is so diverse and inclusive. Diverse and inclusive. Um, and she talks about that during the live stream. It's a long live stream, but we talk about all sorts of topics and about her creative process. And it just... Like, she's so intentional with being inclusive of BIPOC, you know, it, people represented in her decks. And I really respect that. We have the Conjurer, which is traditionally the Magician. And there's the Emperor. Now, with Marseille, the Empress, you know, you've got your trumps, so they're fully illustrated, as is. But then you've got uh, the pips, or the miners. So, just giving you some examples of that. And then there's fully illustrated uh, court cards. So, we have the Knight of Coins here. So I do have a full flip through of this deck on death as well as a hangout sesh with my girl on TK. So check both out. I love this one. Two of Cups. She's got some more decks coming out, by the way. So you don't want to miss out on that. So you'll be hearing more. I'll be sharing more in my community tab about some projects she's got coming out that I'm excited about. So yeah, there you have it. That is another summertime deck that I'm getting to know as well as exploring Marseille, the Marseille system and digging more into that. So that's been fun and exciting this summer for me too. The next one we've got is The Unfolding Path to Row by Athene Noctua. Okay, this is a Hay House to Row deck, but it was an originally in the an indie deck. I didn't get the indie deck. I had heard about it, but it wasn't really fully on my radar. And then there were one or two of you who said that, you know, they thought since I love the light seers to roll so much, they thought for sure you would love the unfolding path. And they were right. <laughs> I do not have a full flipter yet. One of these days I am planning to do a deck in focus, which is more like a review of this deck versus like an unboxing because I've been using it okay so there's that I'm gonna try and get to some summertime decks or summertime cards okay so it'll be coming I don't know when but yeah there's no flip through for this one yeah guy book there is king of or no sorry Look at me being biased. Here's the Page of Cups. Reminding us that at any age you can be starting at one at being new to something, right? So I do appreciate that. Here's the Tower. And so if you are, you know, wanting a mid to late summer inspired kind of deck, this could feel this could be it for you this is seven of coins or seven of pentacles sunflowers definitely giving summer vibes right there's knight of cups here is two of wands 
I have been using this deck for client readings primarily. Sometimes I use it for readings for myself or for my Poised Elite members. I do a weekend wake up call reading um, each week and I use this a one or two times and I really like it. I might, my Will of Fortune. Two of Pentacles. Might be using it again this week as I'm going through it. I really like this deck. I really like it. Giving me mid to end of summer vibes. Here's the star. I'm always going to probably show you if I can help it, the star from each deck. If I can, if it pops up. But if it pops up, I'm probably going to show you because the star is it's my card. Um, queen. Uh, what is this? Cups? Oh, she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. There's the King of Swords. So I have not done a full flip through yet, but that is because I wanted to work with it, see how I have been working with it since I got it and where it shines in readings and bring that to you in my deck in focus video. So that's what I've been planning on doing. I have it on my calendar. I just keep pushing it out because I'm like, I'll get to it. There's so many people, you know, so many reviews out there, so many deck reviews at so many unboxings and I just and I've done a lot of unboxings on my channel but I want to get to a place in a space where I'm sharing with you how I work with a particular deck why it resonates and why it works and why I have challenges with a particular deck and the only way you're going to know if it's working or if it's not working is by working with the deck so that's why I like my series deck in focus as well as the where is the deck now series because I can give you honest feedback about the decks that y'all saw me get <laughs> here is the car backs so gorgeous car backs alone are just so pretty so that is the unfolding path to row and it is one I've been really enjoying using this summer number four the Akabula Tarot by Phyllis Santucha de la Fuente. I had to make sure I got the name. My home girl. And I do have a full flip through of this deck. And you know, this is not this is not one to miss out on. I enjoy working with it. And here's the card backs. It get, it's number four on my list. It gives me summertime vibes, mid to late summer. I'm curious to hear what decks have you been using this season if you live in the southern hemisphere and i do have peeps who live in the southern hemisphere you can share what decks do you like to use during your summertime months or just share the decks you've been using during the winter time i'm curious about those too because let me tell you i don't have a video yet for my winter time decks uh because when i started recording these videos I was in a sunshiny place year round. So I wasn't feeling the vibes of wintry decks. And I don't even know if I have many to scrounge up a full list. We'll see. We'll see how this winter goes in 2024 and see what I come up with. That's my homework assignment. So here we have the three of staffs, traditionally the three of wands. Let's see, here is the Hierophant. Two of Drum, it's a gorgeous deck. The Hermit, two of Cowrie Shells, seven of Drums, seven of Axes. It's the strength card. I gotta show you the strength, you know, it's that Leo energy. Gotta show you that. Leo is definitely summertime for the Northern Hemisphere. Here's Ace of Calvary Shells. And if you want a full flip through, 
check out the video I have in the description box down below. Oh, I'm going to show you. Here's a tower. So you, are you feeling that summertime heat? <laughs> are you? Are you feeling it? Four of staffs, four of wands. Beautiful. Seven of cowrie shells. And of course, we are blessed with the presence of the star card. I'm an Aquarius, so that's why I'm partial to the star. Oh, one more. Eight of drums. Oh, well, actually a few more. <laughs> the eight of drums. Eight of cups, traditionally. The moon. Beautiful. And death. Okay, one, one more. There's always one more, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, two more. Two of axes, two of swords, traditionally. So beautiful. And six of drums. Six of cups. Okay, so yeah, let's we're almost we're almost there, friends. Are you hanging in there with me? I hope so. What has been so far your your deck that's you're like, yes, Kim, that's definitely a summertime deck leave a comment down below and please don't forget to share with me the decks you love to work with during the summer in the comment section this one might surprise you because when you look at the box like the colors on the box or the feel you might say that it's not necessarily feeling quite summertime i'm going to show you some cards that i think really evoke summer vibes that carefree energy um seeing things in a new way you know when you're in the summertime you're just you're feeling most alive you know that you're feeling vibrant so here we have the black tarot this is by Niyash, Niyasha Williams an ancestral awakening deck and guidebook and I do have the journal as well I'm, I didn't grab that one but check out the full flip through in the description box down below so you can see the full flip through I have plus I go over the accompanying journal that you would have to buy separately but it's worth it okay it's totally worth it and you don't have to use the journal strictly for working with this deck but I chose to but you don't have to so you could just get the journal and not even get the deck, but I got the deck and the journal. So here's the guidebook. And, the, and so when you see this eggplant color and then this warm burnt orange, you could think like, okay, this could be more autumn. And it could be. And I could see me working with this deck through autumn, even winter, really. But the burnt orange is also giving me late summertime vibes. Here's the inner box. This believe it or not folks is a mass market deck and it just feels so luxe to me so luxe the tuck box is even just a special treat to to open I still never tire of it so I'm going to show you some of these cards and why I feel like it's giving summer so we have here ace of coins all right, so Ace of Pentacles. She's got the cowrie, the big shell. I forgot, Concha shell? Not cowrie. Concha. Strength. I just get warm energy. Here's Will of Fortune. Some people would say the background colors is giving the autumn season, and I can see that. However, I also feel some watery vibes from this deck. My apologies, my neighbors. It's, I'm recording this during the day, so it's full tilt activity going on, and I have the doors open because it's hot, and mama need, not, I need air flow. So you may hear some background noises, and I also even thought of picking out, and I may still pick out a background music song, but maybe I'll just have y'all hearing my summertime noises. Okay. Here is the High Priestess. Even the Eight of Knives, traditionally the Eight of Swords, gives me, I'm at the spa this summer. <laughs> I 
I'm in, Ca in California. I'm in Calistoga near Napa. Okay. I am getting my life this summer. That vibe. Here's death. Mother of Wands, traditionally Queen of Wands. Let me show you the moon. This is what I was thinking of for summertime. There's two of baskets. Ace of baskets. Eight of Wands. And even though this looks like it's snowing in this picture, but the person's wearing short, like Bermuda shorts and like a cute hat. And it looks like some sort of linen top. I don't know. And there's shells in there. I, still giving to me summer vibes. There's 10 of baskets. Let me see if there's three of coins. Hanged one, hanged man. Oh, I love the father of baskets. I'll show you all a few more from this deck. The magician. Queen of swords or mother of knives in this deck. This is an interesting emperor depiction. There's the Son of Wands. And one more. Here's the Six of Wands. Okay, maybe two more. Okay, one more. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so bad with this. I'm like, because I'm going through these. I haven't set aside cards for this video. So then I end up seeing another one. I'm like, oh, no, I really want to show this one. Here's the Five of Baskets. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck and what made me get it. So Five of Cups traditionally. So that is the Black Tarot. And yeah, it's not probably what folks were expecting for a summertime deck recommendation, but I hope I explained why I felt like it works for summertime. My number two. And Sometimes it, it fluctuates. It could be my number one or my number two. But for this video's sake, it's, it's number two. It is the Tarot of Oneness by Robin Voicey. This is an 84, 84 card Tarot deck. And one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it really evokes for me Caribbean life like if I had a deck that is about space and place in the world this deck does that for me okay and anyone who knows me and loves me knows I am so all about succulents in fact I'm about to get some to plant around the house and I'm excited about that because I used to have all sorts of succulents growing in my old home um, they just would move from house to house. When I move, they move too because they would be potted. So I'm excited about that. And so anytime a deck has the succulent motif as a part of it, and if you all know, I put I put succulents in a lot of my little motifs on the channel, like the banner art, because it's something that represents abundance for me. So this deck already had me sold. And y'all will hear me say that time and time again when I talk about this deck. But it, look at the box. Everything screams spring, summertime with this deck. But let me show you some of the cards that really gives off summer vibes. We have the devil. Here is seven of cups. And I love the perspective change. We have present moment. Love this card. The Hierophant. The perspective change where we're, we are 
viewing it from this person's view, the lovers. So if, you know, I'm seeing this person, I'm looking up ahead at this person. There's multiple lovers cards, I believe. There's the world. That almost could be a great um, judgment card with the rebirth, huh? I don't know why I thought of that. Here's Action of Cups, Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Oh, sorry for the loud sound. Two of Cups. Spirit of Cups. Ace of Swords. Inspiration of Pentacles. So this is one of the ones that feels so summery to me. Even the Pentacles. This is Action of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles. Late summer, right? Here's Nine of Pentacles. I am in love with this Justice card. Here's Five of Cups. It's raining, but, you know, you get summer rain. I know we get summer rain out here, tropical rain, so I appreciate that. We have Three of Cups. Here's another Lovers. It's got another person depicted a female. The first one had a male off in the distance we have spirit of wands inspiration of wands here's another bonus card synchronicity i'll show you all a few more you can check out the original or the flip through the deck i, I think it's an unboxing i did Ace of Pentacles. He did an unboxing for this deck. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. Here's the sun. Six of Cups. I'll show you a few more. Inspiration of Cups. Cups obviously is going to give you summertime vibes for sure. Here's another bonus card, Life Force Energy. Okay. And the Emperor. And we'll stop there. As we, you know, I could, I could show you all the cards all day. If I could, I would. But I'd keep you here all day. I don't know if you want all that. So, let's move on to number one. Last but not least, my number one. The Boudicca's Tarot of Earthly delights i'm probably mispronouncing the name i'm sure so don't bother you know correcting me because many of my peeps have corrected me and sometimes i get it right some days and other days i don't get it right at all because I, in my mind i had it fixed for a different name or pronunciation and I, it's hard to overcome okay uh, this is a deck by paula millett and carol caroline kenner and I did back this one on Kickstarter. I will also link in the description box the, um, I don't know if I did, um, I think it was an unboxing because this was years of waiting for this deck. And I give the backstory about that where I was saying I had the Full Sog app of this deck for many years and wishing that it was a physical copy. And then finally having that happen was just like, so awesome as a deck collector and here we are and here's the gorgeous guidebook it's a really great deck it's a great 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 guidebook i think i might even put the guidebook on my shelf i have a shelf of guidebooks from decks that I'm like it works well with you know my tarot studies even seasoned readers are you know studying guidebooks on the regular so I keep my favorites on the shelf and one day I plan to do a video let me know if you'd be interested in knowing what are those 
guidebooks that are on my shelf that are reference materials for multiple tarot decks, not just the one that it came with. Let me know if you'd be interested in a video like that. And then I'll consider recording it. But I've been kicking around that idea. Um, because sometimes people are like, the deck is okay, but the guidebook is amazing. Or the deck and the guidebook are amazing. It is, for me, it doesn't matter. If the guidebook is great, it's going to make it on my shelf where it's easy to grab. Here are the backs. That feels very summery to me. Okay. I'll show you some of these cards. We have the moon. Page of fungi. King of combustion. King of wands. The tower. Ace of Tentacles. Tentacles is traditionally the cups. Ten of Fungi. It's led, I'm feeling like this deck is saying it is really loving all of summer. There's like cars that depict beginning, mid, and end of summer here. Eight of Tentacles. The Lovers. Four of ether, four of air. Pick out some of my favorites that remind me of summer or just noteworthy. It's got that whimsy touch with this eight of air, eight of ether. Let's see. Her strength. I love the seven of combustion. It's it's got. It looks like um, there's a trial going on with these people down in the corner. These men. And so when you think of the seven of wands, defending your position, defending someone or something. There's five of tentacles. There's the star. King of Tentacles, Tentacles Cups. Look at that fish. Six of Tentacles. Let's do a couple more and let's see, we got the sun. Night of Fungi. And seven of tentacles. And queen of fungi. One more page of combustion. He's got he's got a salamander on his leash. I love this. So that is my Bud Budica. Vertica's to Tarot of Earthly Delights. And um, yeah, and look at the, here's the inside of the box. So you can put your cards there. Even that shade of blue is feeling very much like the ocean. And you know, you can go to the ocean year round, but typically we like to go to the ocean and the beach in warmer times, right? The summer. So yeah. We'll there you have it folks we have concluded my top 10 2024 edition of the tarot decks i would recommend to use for summertime and i hope you enjoyed this list of decks it was fun for me to do this video and i'm so curious to hear about what decks have you been loving and working with so far um, i'm recording this as of july 24th 2024 I'm a little late, but I had a 2022 edition of the Tarot decks of recommendations I have for you all. So that's why I didn't feel a huge sense that I needed to rush with making this video. But I realized I was like, oh, I have even more decks to recommend for summer time. So let me just make a new edition. And here we are. 
All right, friends, do me a favor. I try not to bother you with these little things, but if you would be so kind as to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, that would be most appreciated. I am so happy. We are at 5,500 subscribers, and I thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Your comments always brighten my day, even the ones that, well, it's not really this topic. We all gush over decks over on this topic, but there's other topics that I approach that aren't so lovey-dovey, and you all still are so, like, um, you know, just amazing human beings with what you have to share, and I, I respect it, and I respect you, and I appreciate you, so thank you. All right, friends, take good care of yourselves. I will see you all around in the next video. Bye for now.